Welcome to part 17 of my DIY backyard project. If you have missed the previous progress, check them out in the description. If you are planning to build a deck by yourself or even hiring a contractor to do the job, I hope you will find this helpful. And my goal is to inspire more people into DIY. This time, we are talking about a simple weekend project to update the look of the gate. This is the gate to my backyard. It came with the house as part of the fence. It's a simple gate, but it's very ugly. The gate is still working fine. It would be a waste if we replaced the whole thing. What I'm going to do is to update the style and the design. First, I am getting rid of the arch at the top because it looks a bit out of date. It takes some time to cut it off because I'm using the hand saw. For safety reasons, I think it's a bit dangerous to use a circular saw here. Now, we got rid of the top portion. It's looking even worse than before. Don't worry. We'll fix it. Next, I am adding a 2x4 and secure it to the existing board. This is the right hand side of the frame. Of course, we need to work on the other side and the top is pretty straightforward. We have the top portion partially completed. For a good DIY job, you always want to check for leveling. Yes, it's perfectly leveled. To make the gate less boring, we are adding some horizontal boards. From design perspective, it gives you a distinction between the two sections. Here comes a design technique called picture framing. You want to add cosmetic borders to the frame. As you can see, this creates an inset for the gate and it looks pretty instantly. If you have seen part 12 of this DIY backyard project, you would remember I bought this plastic privacy screen from the local hardware store. I got an extra one, so this is the chance to make good use of it. It's a bit of waste for the plastic privacy screen, honestly. I could not return it because I lost the receipt. Well, as long as it looks good, I am fine with it. Here is another DIY tips. Remember to use stainless steel bread nails. If you don't, there will be water stains after it rains. Let's mount it right on the center of the gate, it will look fantastic. For this one, I am using the green colored deck screws. It's completed, let's check the leveling, perfect. This is the back of the gate. The color is different because of the old pressure treated wood turned into great color after a couple of years. We will try to fix it in just a moment. Same color problem on the front of the gate. Other than that, it looks good. Let's open the latch and check out the deck.
To secure the gate, I used epoxy putty to cap the end of the screw to prevent intruders from unscrewing it. You need to do this for all the screws on the front. I am using a stainless steel combination lock because I don't want to carry the key. I got this from Amazon for $25 Canadian when it was on sale. We are going to do a chemical power wash to restore the original color of the wood. Any chemical designed for cleaning the pressure treated deck or fans will do. Remember to read the instructions. Some of them you need to soak it for 10 minutes before rinsing. You do need a pressure washer for this. I bet most of you DIY people would have one sitting in your garage. Watching the dirt coming off the board was very satisfying. Wow, huge difference. It's still wet right now. Let's take a look when it dries. The color is close enough. I believe I would call this a very successful DIY project. See how much of a difference comparing to my neighbor's gate. I hope this helps. Give this a thumbs up if you find some good information in this video. My goal, again, is to inspire more people into DIY. You may want to check out other videos on my channel. I am pretty sure you will love them. Remember to subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you next time.